Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, here's some army surplus for you guys that are into army surplus. This is a, uh, a sleeping bag cover. Has the U.S. logo on it here. It's upside down. Uh, these are really nice. I picked up a bunch of these a long time ago, and uh, just found this one hiding in my cedar chest. So it smells really good. But uh, I was messing with it the other day, and I saw that. Uh, this, I'll see if I can read it for you guys here. Uh, case, water repellent for bag, sleeping. American Spring Cushion Manufacturing Company. P.O. Box looks like 144. I can't see what the rest of that is. Uh, it says date, something 16, 1944. So, this thing's been around for a long time. Let's start to look at it a little closer. Uh, you can see that there's been some repair work done to it over the years. Um, it looks like they had replaced some snaps in here as well. A little bit of a mend here. See, that's an older style snap. And then right below where they put the uh, add-on, that's a newer si style of snap. But these are really, really valuable to have, and I'm going to actually roll one up, and I'm going to keep it in my Jeep. But one of the things I wanted to show you, it's starting to get some little holes in it. I don't know if this is something that I did. I don't think, but I think that might have been the way it came. I didn't really inspect them first. I just washed them and dried them and put them away. So I'm going to show you guys how to patch this. And this is the outside of the bag, so I'm going to do this repair from the inside of the bag. Here, hang on one second. Let me get this camera mounted up here. Hang on a second. Yeah, anytime you guys can find an expensive army surplus, you know, if you can pick it up cheap, buy it, throw it in your vehicle, uh, use it whenever you're camping, anything like that. Uh, if it's good enough for our men in uniform, it should be damn good for any one of us. So, just give me a second here while I find this repair here real quick. Turn the bag inside out here. I'm hoping to have a couple more lantern videos for you guys over the uh, next couple of weeks. I just got another one coming in from... Um, California I won so I'm happy to have that all right here it is I don't know if anybody's ever done any kind of uh, like patching or anything like that uh, it's pretty common and it's actually pretty easy to do and uh, I'll show you guys how I do mine just uh, have your regular um, iron here I tried to turn the steam off on this. Let me see if I can do that for you guys. Just make sure you turn your steam off and uh, turn it on like the cotton setting. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, something like that. But just start working this around. You want to heat up this area pretty good. And leave it sit on there for a minute or two just to start to come up the temperature because you want this patch to stick and you want it to stick permanently. I don't remember the name of the patch that I got here. Hang on a second. But uh, I asked for the best patch they had, and this is what she recommended. Uh, there was a bunch of patches there by the same brand name, and I wish I, I remembered what it was. I'll find out and just tag it in the video here. But I, you could probably cut that down, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use the whole thing. You can still get that heated up a little bit here. And the lady told me that once this dries and cures for about an hour, you'll be able to laundry it, um, use it, abuse it, and it shouldn't come off at all. She, she, she this is what she uses for all her repair work at the, uh, the sewing shop here. So I'm going to put this on lengthwise. I'm going to follow the seam of the... Uh, where that runs. I'm just going to start working my iron over this a little bit at a time. I think, if my memory serves me correctly, I think these were called M51 sleeping bag covers. It's something along those lines.
I bought seven of these from a dealer, I believe in Michigan, Army Surplus Dealer, back in 2007. I think I got these for like three bucks a piece or something like that. And they all seem to be in pretty good shape. I put a lot of them on my uh, sleeping bags. Some I let uh, some people use. But they're really nice to have. Even if you're just uh, you know, crashing out on the couch and taking a power nap. Pretty nice to have, because believe it or not, they actually are really, really warm. They retain your body heat fairly well, and as long as you keep them clean, um, like body oil, sweat, and stuff like that, keep after them. That'll help to retain any of the waterproof qualities that this has, or water-resistant qualities, I should say, that these have. Alright, I'd say that's been about long enough for this one here. I'm going to flip it over. Put this camera down here for a second. And I'm going to do this on the other side here. Okay, you can almost see where this runs around the edge here. But now at least I don't have to worry about getting that snagged on a sleeping bag zipper or anything else has a little bit more protection underneath there we got two of these big patches for a dollar thirty I think was the price on that and there's no tax on clothes here in Pennsylvania so alright I'm thinking that's probably been long enough I'll leave this sit for about ten minutes come back and just check the edge make sure it didn't uh, didn't start to curl up or anything, which it shouldn't, but if it does, you just apply the iron again. But uh, there's an easy mend for a 1944 military water repellent sleeping bag cover. So, like I said, if you guys find them, grab them. They're cheap. Um, they're awesome. And uh, there you go. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out my video. Bye.